The decision to deny former Israeli Justice Minister Eilat Sheikh a visa to enter Australia has ignited a significant political storm, casting shadows on Australia-Israel relations under the Albanese government. Sheikh attributes the rejection to her vocal opposition to the establishment of a Palestinian state, labeling the move as politically motivated and reflective of what she perceives as a growing anti-Israel sentiment within Australia's current administration. Eilat Sheikh Haid, who had planned to attend a strategic dialogue as part of the AIJAC conference, expressed strong disapproval of the visa denial, accusing the Australian government of hypocrisy and fostering an anti-Israeli agenda. She further alleged that some elements within the government exhibit anti-Semitic tendencies, remarking, These are dark days for Australian democracy, as government has chosen the wrong side of history. Her comments have drawn sharp reactions, both in defense of and against the Australian government's decision. The Albanese administration has faced intense scrutiny amid broader debates on the Israel-Palestine conflict, especially following the onset of the Gaza war triggered by the October 7 Hamas attacks. While maintaining its designation of Hamas as a terrorist organization, Australia's Labour government has called for a ceasefire, positioning itself somewhat cautiously compared to nations like Spain, Ireland and Norway, which have been more openly critical of Israel. Nonetheless, Canberra has refrained from recognizing a Palestinian state, a stance that has not shielded it from criticism by both pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian advocates. This controversy unfolds against the backdrop of Australia's evolving policies toward Palestinian refugees. Amid the Gaza conflict, Australia has granted temporary visas to thousands of refugees while rejecting many applications. These measures, though framed as humanitarian efforts, have sparked debates over national security, as opposition figures have called for stricter restrictions. Sheikh Harid's visa rejection has amplified tensions in the already complex dynamics between Australia and Israel, fueling debates on free speech, diplomatic relations, and the broader ideological divide over the Israel-Palestine conflict. This development underscores the challenges of navigating international relations in an era of polarized global politics. Stay subscribed for more videos.